Yes, guys, good morning. Welcome to Supercars of London and the secret slash bonus leg to my UK road trip where you join me in the northeast of Sardinia for the DBX 707 International Media Drive. And right there is my car, Apex Grey. I was so excited about coming out here to see DBX 707 in different specs to what we've seen so far, which is that blue over there. What is this? Not entirely sure whether you can see that over there, just how dark those clouds are, but the wind is picking up. We've just heard a clap of thunder and the rain is coming in. Today, we've got an Aston Martin DBX 707 to outrun that storm. on startup unless you need it in sport plus <laughs> I've never experienced weather like this this is pure Forza Horizon one minute it's raining one minute it's sunny then you get a huge gust of wind and the storm comes through and what a perfect place to have a DBX 707 launch the most powerful SUV the is not just the DBX's bigger brother. Oh my God. We need to get off these kind of roads as quickly as possible. Because right now, cruising around, whilst the car's compliant, soft, feels luxurious, we've got the same problem here. <laughs> I've tried and attempted six times to plug my iPhone in to get Apple CarPlay. It's only come up with the option to connect once and it gave me three other options which I had no idea what to do. And because this isn't touchscreen and I had to try and fiddle around with all of these buttons down here, I ended up declining it and now I can't get it back. No! No! Oh no! I put the window down for the tunnel and it sounds worse in the tunnel with the window down than it does with the windows up outside of a tunnel because of the interior noise that's being pumped in. It's got a different tone and it sounds so much better like this. This weather doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. I've done a poor job about running this storm. I've actually driven further into it. I do not believe what I can see. I can see mountains, I can, I've got visibility back. I can see in front of me, yes. The rain cars there are atrocious, hold on. Oh, I felt like there was gonna be some aquaplaning. But finally, there's, oh, it's not quite blue sky, but there's a break in the weather. Oh my God, I have driven through the other side of what is possibly the most torrential weather I've ever experienced that isn't in the UK. And over there, there is not blue sky, but white clouds, and I can see a long way away, which means we're close to some good roads, and those mountains in the distance have broken up the clouds and the rain, and finally, Fingers crossed, I can experience DBX 707 
properly. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I've experienced all four seasons in the space of about two hours. We have now arrived at the road, which is absolutely monstrous. Sublime, should we say. Uh, however, in the summer. <laughs> We have got temperature readings of zero degrees, a lot of snowfall, thankfully not too much traffic. And the best that we can do is carve our way up this mountain. My feet are freezing. I guarantee when Aston Martin said, let's go and launch a DBX 707 out in Sardinia, they didn't think that we would get this weather, but we've got it. So what else can we do other than experience and enjoy 707 as best as possible? And the interior noise is so throaty and metallic at the top end. The gearbox is the first most noticeable difference in Sport Plus, 40% faster than standard DBX and that gives the car so much more character and makes it feel more sporty. It was one of the first things that I picked up driving standard DBX was how smooth the gearbox was and how different that, differing that is to the Vantage which snaps you into the next gear and this is exactly that. We're going to have to go past this minibus. I'm not hanging around. My God, has this car been unleashed from the standard version, which holds its own in an elegant way. But I would always favor Bentayga over standard DBX. If you want a badge, luxury, and elegance, the Bentayga is the one to have. However, 707 goes up against the likes of the Urus, RSQ8 in a way, Cayenne Turbo GT would you say, but oh my god, considering the temperatures outside, I mean look, there's not even a barrier there, it's just classic Italy, just someone's gone through it and they've just not bothered to fix it because they think, well, someone else will probably go through that, what's the point in fixing it? <laughs> but, okay. What I can tell you, <laughs> with very limited driving opportunity, is Aston Martin have heavily focused the car to react to driver inputs almost instantly, almost instantly. Whether that be throttle, steering, the suspension and the road surface, the way this car performs is based on the driver inputs and the computer system inside this car, which is far more intelligent than the Hurricane Evo LDVI. Um, it enables the car to react to situations faster, giving you an incredibly responsive drive and giving the whole car this sporty characteristic that is unrivaled within the SUV world. The Urus is the only car that comes close to this, and this feels unhinged in comparison to the Urus, but in a good way. It is not out of control. It is not getting the back end out. But my God, does it feel like a low slung sports car. The way that you're able to, I would not drive supercars at the pace that I'm taking these roads at, especially in these conditions, because I have no idea where the ice is. And as you would have seen back there, these barriers don't look that strong. And this car, as light as Aston Martin have made it, is still heavy enough to plow through these barriers. I would not want to be going through these barriers because whilst we can't see what is down there, we're on the side of a mountain. 
so I will be taking it incredibly tame. This right now could not be more Forza Horizon. Tell me, what is more Forza Horizon than this? What's down there? I feel like there's the top of the clouds there. I can see the clouds moving. No idea what's down there. But driving up through a blizzard in Sardinia. Oh, there's more mountains over there. I can see that now. This is absolutely not what I expected. To hand the keys back to standard DBX in Gaiden, jump on a flight out to Sardinia to drive 707. This was not what I thought I would be driving in. <laughs> Not that I've been able to push this car to anywhere near 10% of its limit. The feeling and feedback that I get from this car's suspension, steering is a big difference. The throttle response, the exhaust, the power delivery. It is a more complete far more aggressive DBX than I think I could have expected having enjoyed DBX it's got its quirks it's got its flaws so is this car in its similar similarities with the interior um but there's not many cars that I would feel comfortable with giving it a little bit on these roads, in these conditions. Um, there's not many cars out there that I feel confident enough to give it a little bit of beans and push it. But um, this is um, <laughs> a once in a lifetime experience. And that's what I'm going to take away from this trip. <laughs> Blue sky and sunshine, torrential rain, 25 mile an hour winds into a blizzard. And then being able to drive a road like this. Now that we're going back downhill, I just want to turn around and then take some photos and I'm done. Sardinia is quickly becoming one of my favorite places ever. I've got the DBX started up, the heated seats are on, we're getting the temperatures up inside that car because now we have to head back down the mountain and to the airport. But now that the clouds have cleared, I'm sorry, this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. And look at these clouds coming over the mountains there. We've got a beautiful view of the valley. The road continues in that direction but goes downhill. We are at the top of where we can take this car on tarmac right now look at it when you get up here and you're driving it and actually experiencing it from behind the wheel not on a motorway and you're up in places not necessarily like this but when you've got roads like this where you can actually enjoy the sport plus mode in this car my hands are going to go purple if i hold the camera any longer uh, but i am in awe of this place sardinia i'm in awe of that car there, I think the spec on it is absolutely perfect. And that is, um, that is me done for Sardinia. It is a shame, but it is absolutely freezing. When the sun does come out behind those clouds, it's quite warm and I'm imagining the snow disappears quite quick. Uh, but sadly, we don't have all that long before we have to get back to the airport. So I will leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it has been an interesting, very unplanned trip to Sardinia. I mean, I planned the trip with Aston Martin. Um, however, we could not control the weather and we experienced everything. I'll leave it there, guys. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Goodbye.